Hi everybody. Today I want to talk about the second thing that you want to think about when you're planning the new year in 2018 and that is how do I want to live my life every day? This is really important because as we get busy with everyday life, whether it's running a business or taking care of a family can really distract us or just a multitude of bad habits of wasting time because we're not clear on the things we want. Time can go by, years, years can go by, decades go by where we haven't lived the life we want. It's never too late to start. So think about, take a moment to think about one word that could describe the kind of life that you want to live. And you may already be living this life and maybe you could ramp it up. I'll use myself as an example. I always wanted an adventurous life. Well, to me, an adventurous life is not taking a vacation once a year and going somewhere for a week or two. An adventurous life is where I'm regularly having adventures every month and sometimes every week, whether it's a local adventure in the hills of San Clemente or it's a giant adventure going to Egypt to explore the pyramids and everything in between. If I put that off year after year after year because I was busy, because I didn't have the money, because of all these other reasons, not having a babysitter, I mean, all these things that we use to hold us back from living a great life, um, I would have had decades behind me where I didn't do anything adventurous, right? So maybe you're not into adventure, but you are into creating a body of work with your artistic skills, or you um, want to write a book. Well, a writer doesn't write for three weeks out of the year. A writer writes every day, even if it's only for 30 minutes a day. So I wanna just encourage you to really think about this life that you wanna live and imagine yourself far into the future, 10 years from now. You look back on the, on the, the past 10 years was your life that thing that you wanted it to be? What we do every day, what we do every week, what we do every month is what our lives become. And we have complete control over that. No one else does. No one can prevent you from living your life the way you want to live it. No one has the power to do that but you. You have the power to live it. Um, and you have the power to limit it with excuses and imaginary, imagined things holding you back. I'm gonna close with this one thing. My uh, husband, Drew, told me a story about when he was in his early 20s and he was very depressed because he had so much confusion about what he was gonna do with his life. And so he asked himself this very important question. He said, to himself, if I died today, what would the one thing be that I would be disappointed that I didn't do? And his answer was for himself to surf big waves, giant waves. And when he asked him that, himself that question, he was stuck in a life he wasn't happy living in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, doing things he didn't want to do. And so he decided, well, then I'm going to go surf big waves. And so what he did was he booked a trip to Puerto Escondido, Mexico, where the waves get giant. And he planned for this. And he went and spent a few months surfing big waves. And from that, the lesson that he learned was, wow, it's not that hard to do those things you dream of if you just first get clarity on it and second, 
Take the steps to make it happen. And you can apply this to anything in your life. So ask yourself this. If I die today, what is that one thing I would have regretted not doing? And then put it on your calendar. Make it happen. Please, in the comments, let me know what that one thing is and also share your thoughts or questions on this topic. Thank you. I love you all so much. Bye.